Hey, today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to grow your construction business using Facebook. All right, so we've all heard that social media is the, the thing for marketing, right? Uh, helps you get a lot of eyeballs on your stuff and this and that, but raise your hand if you've been one of those contractors who's had a really hard time um, getting people to give a crap about anything that you seem to do on social media, uh, on those social media platforms. So today I just want to take a couple minutes and talk about how you can actually not only get more eyeballs to what you do, but sell more jobs, you know, get more leads, sell more jobs using Facebook. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about uh, before I get into the couple of the tips I've got written up here behind me is if you are a smaller contractor, meaning, I don't know, a couple million and less, your personal profile page on Facebook should tell us what you do. Stop trying to separate your business from your personal life because like it or not, they're truly one and the same unless you're like IBM or one of these big massive companies where you can shut it off, okay? You are involved in your community. Hopefully you're doing community events. Uh, people know you, you shop locally, all those things. So why would you not have your personal page, personal profile, at least in the banner or in the in the thumbnail image, the profile picture, um, one of those should, should speak to what you do. Tell us who you are. Tell us what you do. Bring the two worlds together because you get way more eyeballs on your stuff, uh, on your personal profile than you do on your business page unless you're spending money, okay? And, and listen, this video is not about you doing Facebook ads, it's not about spending money, things like that. It's just taking what you've already got going for you right now and getting more leads and sales, all right? So aside from that, first thing, be real. Be real, bring us, you know, grab your camera, grab your phone, shoot a video, take a picture, whatever it is, bring us behind the scenes of what it's like in, in an average day of years. My buddy Doug up near Denver, you know, last year he did a couple of videos where he got out of his truck and did a Facebook Live video on his personal page, said, hey, let's see what the crew's up to today. And he just had a conversation with his foreman and what it did was amazing. It elevated his um, status from an expert to a super expert when it came to staining woodwork and things like that, okay? Um, bring us behind the scenes, show us what frustrates you, okay? So be real. What makes you happy? Pull up to a job site and snap a picture of your guys doing something. Several years ago, I took a picture of some of my guys, two of my guys that were vacuuming mulch on an exterior paint job because the paint chips got through the drops and the plastic that we had down, okay? And got a ton of buzz on that, ton of eyeballs of people that were not contractors that were like, oh my God, no wonder you guys are so good. No wonder you guys get, have such a good reputation because you care. So that starts with being real. Second thing, be relevant. Be relevant. What's going on this time of year for you? I know of a contractor in the Midwest who in, in, in the exterior painting season, uh, you know, when all the snow thaws and all that stuff, there's lots of wood rot. There's brick molds that are, that are rotted, you know, at the bottom of the garage and window sills that are rotted. So he would just go out and just say, hey, here's a picture. Got, got this? You know, let me know if you have any questions about how to fix it. You know, here's a blog that we did on our website that tells you how to fix it if you want to fix it yourself. He was relevant to what was going on right then and there. Be relevant to the needs of your clients. What do they care about? What do they have on their radar that you can connect with them on? Okay, it could be a holiday. It could be a thing going on in the community. A number of things for you to be relevant. Third thing, be consistent. This is a big one. All right. When I'm not consistent in my social media stuff, I'm like this. I plateau. When I'm consistent, I'm, I'm grinding up. And you got to do the same thing. Okay? Show up several times a day. Yes, several times a day. Several times a day, damn it. Okay? Because it's your job. Your job is to show up and be there and establish yourself of somebody who's real, relevant, and the expert in your industry. So how can you do that if you're only showing up once a week, once a day on your social media platforms. That's a crock of crap. So it just shows me that you don't have a priority on growing your business in your local area. So be consistent. Tom, how many times should I post on my Facebook page? 
every time, right? All the time. At least three to four times a day, you should be doing something. Think of all the projects that you work on, all the things that you see on a job site. Take a picture, post it, shoot a quick video. Hey, you ever wonder how we eat lunch, you know, when we're on top of a roof? I don't know. Do something to show us that you're still there each and every day. And the final thing here is don't always try to sell. Stop, you know, doing these posts like I saw a guy the other day uh, come across my feed. He's a, he's a young contractor. He's like, hey, if you need, I don't know, it was a barn or a fence or some crap like that built. Okay. If you need a fence built, call me. I'm offering specials. That's code for, since it was October, that's code for, I haven't been doing shit in my marketing all year. Now I'm desperate because my phone's not ringing because I've been a dumbass and I haven't, haven't been listening to Reber all year saying market all damn year every day 365. So then he gets desperate and he does some stupid ass post, okay? Where he's like, hey, need a deal on a fence? Give me a call, okay? Anyway, enough of that. Stop selling us. Be real, be relevant, be consistent, show up, add value. If you're gonna ask for something, don't ask for a sale on all your social media posts. Throw that back to me. There we go, good catch. Ask them to weigh in on a post. Hey, which color do you like for the front door here? How would you guys access this yard? What do you think of this waterfall we just built? Ask and get engagement instead of asking for the sale all the time. Guys, all this stuff positions you, positions you, like tongue tied, as the mofo expert in your area, okay? And that's what you wanna be. You want expert status because experts can charge more, they get hired more often, and they have less ups and downs in the lead flow and the sales of their business every year, all right? So use Facebook to grow your construction business using these little tips that we had here today. We'll see you next time on The Contractor Fight.